let's take a minute to imagine what it's like growing up black in the Caribbean. Like, just imagine it. And then stop imagining it. Because it's not easy. Example, your mother ever had an argument with your mother or your father and you know you're right about something. Or you know you're not in the wrong. Or somebody tell your mother something and they're lying. And your mother arguing. All hell break loose. And you just raise your voice for your mother. And they're watching you like, who the hell Mr. Finky talking to? Boy, never raise your voice at your mother. Because first of all, it's either two kind of scenarios are going to happen. Your mother will still be talking your head off with more information. Or they will just knock your fletching teeth out. They will punch you or slap you and ask you who you think you're talking to. That is not your house. You don't pay no bills. Especially paying bills. You never paying bills in a black parent house. Just, just whether you paying bills, whether you don't paying bills, you're not paying bills. It's not your house. They will still tell you it's not your house. Okay? Or um, when your mother asks you where you come out. Run, where you come out? <laughs> Fam, it's the better thing to do. If you know it's in the strip club, you come out. Tell your mother you come out in the strip club. Because for you to pass it, all little um, shortcut telling your mother, oh, you was by that friend and that. And then the biggest thing is when they ask you where you come out again. From your mother, know where you come out. The village camera or the neighbor with her little eyes that was watching through the window. They already tell your mother you come out somewhere. Just tell your mother where you come out. Because they already know when they ask you things. Where you come out. What you are doing. Who you are with there. You go to school. They know. Especially going to school. Don't dock school. In Dominica, in the Caribbean, do not dock school and tell your mother you are school. Some teacher already see you, somebody mother see you, somebody friend see you, sometimes your own mother see you, and the information reaching home before you reach home, and you coming back smiling, uh-uh, uh-uh, you gonna get it. <laughs> or like, for example, you never had your mother asking you to go and do something, like example, before she go to town, go and do something, let's say, Ryan, I want you to wash the plates for me, and clean yours before I come back. Yes, mommy, you lie down in your bed, you checking again, we have enough time. You end up on one movie. You end up on another movie. You end up talking to somebody. Time you beat your head, beep, beep, by the road. Your mother reached home, eh? Fam, that happened to me a time, boy. My mother reached home. And I don't do nothing yet. See me trying to run and wash the plates. Kisa, my mother already reached. And I was trying to wash. Kasa, I get two cool knockout. When you get boop, boop. And after you get the boop boop, you still have to go and wash the plates. What a burden me. You still have to wash the plates. Your mother don't give a damn. <laughs> she do not give a damn. Wash her damn plates. And after she wash the plates, after you wash the plates, they still have something else to tell you. Or you like you never appreciating your mother enough or your father enough for you to think of doing something your own self. I'm tired. Yeah, don't never tell him you're tired. Don't never tell him you're tired. Because in the end, your mother does a whole set. I mean, she's supposed to do it, but she will come and tell you, after I do this, after I do that, after I do that, you want to come and tell me you're tired? You want to come and tell me you're tired? And then they don't want to cook for you. They don't want to cook for you. They try to starve you. <laughs> but, eh, it have, another thing a black parent like to do is that you do something bad. Example, you maybe curse somebody and they come and tell your mother, or you... You fail something or you don't go to school. Whatever the case may be. Whatever you do. And you, your mother find out eh, and she tell you she have to hit you. And after some talking, you outside, you know, after some, she take like, pass inside. Hurry up, pass inside. I'm not going to hit you. Never believe that. Never believe that. Especially when you're standing up in front of the door. Pass and you'll not hit me and you stand up in front of the door. Where are you going to pass? Where are you going to pass? Because when you pass in, it's that time you get in the plow, plow. I tried on you. I tried on you. Or even though they're telling you, pass and do it, you inside the house you go in, you don't have nowhere to run, you don't have nowhere to go, you must sleep there, they're going to hit you. Them kind of lies that doesn't work, they're going to hit you. Fam. Or they're telling you, go and bathe when you come back, we'll talk. Or go and bathe when you come back. Oh, you don't bathe for the day, go and bathe when you come back, we'll finish that. If you ever decide to go and bathe when your mother tells you, go and bathe, just go and bathe. Make sure you wipe outside, bring your boxes outside, or if it's in the bathroom, you're bathing, because sometimes it's outside, you're bathing. If it's in the bathroom, you're bathing, make sure you wipe in the bathroom, you put your clothes in the bathroom, and then you come outside. Because if you ever make the mistake and bathe, and you come outside wet, fam, you get in it like it's hot pepper leather belt making why, why? And when you wet and they're hitting you, ah, 
Watcha, what you want to kill you? You want to kill you? It have another one. You cannot never fool a Caribbean parent by playing sleep when you have to get blows. You cannot fool them. They will. They sometimes doing two tricks. So they will just come and wake you. Not even a trick. I did just come and wake you up and hit you. Cause it it in them. It's scratch. They are scratching. Or they play nice. They calling you for your food. You eating your food. They asking you how was your day. If you do your homework. Na na na. When you you see your 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 um the wall is going down, they hooking you. <laughs> they hooking you. I forget sometimes they just be so fun. It's not really fun. They just try to cool down their own self. Because if they if somebody if one of them people hold you and they vex, <laughs> oh my god, gentle the rest have a job. <laughs> or um. In my case, when my mother was giving me vegetables, I, I literally couldn't eat vegetables. Like, I didn't like it. And you push that in your mouth. And it's like, Ugh! you know, your mother watching you, vomit it, just vomit, vomit. I'm making you eat it. Fam, I never really vomited, but the way my mother was talking to me, I'm quite sure if I had vomit that, I would have to be eating it back here because, <laughs> but yeah, they watching you in your eyes. Vomit, you man, vomit it. Vomit it. <laughs> And one of the biggest things about growing up black in the Caribbean is the freedom. Sometimes you, in America or wherever, wherever else, you have more freedom. At the age of 14, you can maybe sleep at a friend's home. You can go out and come home at what time? Dominica, you 19, 20, sometimes in your mother's and you still can't do it. Once you're under your own mother's house, you still cannot do it. It don't make sense to ask your mother to go somewhere because then she becoming a detective. She becoming a parole officer and you have a curfew. She wants to know who you're going with, what time you're going, what time you're going to come back, what you're going to do, how many people are going to be there. Um, the lady wants to know everything. Jesus. I mean, sometimes they just want to know you're safe, but after they ask all them questions, you don't have good to go again. You don't have good to go again. Sometimes they want number of the person you're going by. They want, you know, Jay. And then make sure you come home by 11 o'clock. Party may be starting at 11 o'clock, you know, but make sure you come home at 11 o'clock. And make sure you come at 11 o'clock, because they're waiting for you. they waiting for you. Uh -uh. Let me tell you about it. Some things you should never do as a kid growing up in the Caribbean is that when your mother talks to you, and they, I use the mother because it's, I grew up with my mother. When your mother talks to you, and they finish talk to you, and you're so vexed, and like, exactly, like, they tell you you're not going nowhere. And you go in the room and you, bro, I can never go nowhere, boy. I hate that lady. You can mumble from January to December. First of all, as soon as you start to mumble, they could be outside. I don't know what kind of super bat hearing, dog hearing, and people are, what you say there? What you say there? <laughs> and they're reaching back. They always hate you and they're reaching right back. You know, many times I, I, after I get a nice beating boy and I take in a shower, how I thinking of boy? Okay, enough is enough. I tired. I tired of it. I gonna pack my bags and then go and run away. Run away where? The same way you freed your mother is the same way other people freed your mother. So don't think you're taking your bags and running away and you're going at Harry home and sleep. Mm -mm. Harry mother not having it. You think it's me. You come in and make your mother kill? Go home. Um, hello, uh, your son is at my home. So it don't make sense you go nowhere because everywhere you go, everybody know everybody that is one of the biggest things again in the caribbean everybody know everybody you cannot do nothing without somebody who don't know your mother or somebody that know your mother it don't make it sense to try to do shit because everybody know everybody and everybody talking jacko parrot this way cicero parrot that way or to maybe sum it up because i can go on and on and on but something you never really do is that when your mother hitting a sibling it's best you just sit down and just shh. Because then they'll be, you want your share too, man? You want your share too? And they will land on you. I think it gives them more force. Don't laugh because they're going to land on you. But in the end, look at us. We turned out quite fine. We have many intelligent people. We have, and I love my mother to the moon and back. She did her best because growing up with somebody like me, you, you, you would have to have patience to not. So, I love my mother, and growing up in Caribbean is not all that bad. It's just that if you move from over there and you come here, you're going to... Shh. Go, go, welfare. <laughs> Bye.